Hello everyone. In this segment, we'll discuss about some more concepts of VSTL. Now, in this segment, we'll discuss about VSTL libraries. Then we shall discuss about what is the methodology of defining components, what is meant by component instantiations, and lastly, we'll discuss about signal assignment methodologies. Friends, we'll start first one as libraries. So most of us are familiar about libraries as far as libraries are considered it can be a set of all the components that are made available for the functionality of system so based on that let us define libraries libraries are used to extend functionality of any system now in order to extend the functionalities of system we need a set of rules protocols components functions operators or anything that is required for writing the code. So these all terms are being used in libraries. It defines the types, functions, components and overloaded operator. So anything that is required for functionalities of the systems is made available in libraries. Now as far as our VSDL term is considered, so for designing of digital systems are considered an institution that is called as IEEE has developed standard library. It basically stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. So in this library, uh, the new algorithms, new protocols, all the functions, whatever the terms are there, they are being adapted in IEEE. Now, how to use this? That's the big question. So in that case, we'll move on to defining syntax here. We'll write the first name as library because we are defining the library and its name. Now the name is IEEE, so the first statement becomes library IEEE. Now in order to use it, we will use the second statement as use IEEE. That means we are accessing library dot standard logic 1164. Now that standard logic 1164, it is nothing but a package that is defined in IEEE. Now, in order to access all the terms from this particular package, we'll use the extension as dot all. Now, this is going to be a syntax for defining library. First library, we are defining name as IEEE. We are using the IEEE and in that we are using this particular package. And from that package, we are using all the components. So in this way, one can define libraries in case of PSDL. Now, we are having two sets of library packages. Number one is IEEE numeric bit. If you remember in the previous uh, uh, couple of lectures, we have seen we are having uh, signal types as bit, bit vector, standard logic and standard logic vector. So whenever it deals with a bit, the package is going to be IEEE dot numeric bit. Now we can have, have signed and unsigned numbers also that is defined in case of IEEE dot numeric standard logic. Now these two library packages can be used in case of defining the library elements. So this is about defining the term that is called as library. Now once you define library, we'll move to this point as component declaration. Now friends, as far as our digital system is considered, here we are always dealing with the components. We are having seven components including three basic there are two universal gates and remaining two as special gates. Now, in order to define them, we have to go for a methodology that is called as component declaration. How it works? Basically, component declaration declares a virtual design entity interface that may be used in the component instantiation statement. That means it basically acts as an interface that can be used from input as well as from output site. It can be defined as a broad statement that includes number of input terms and output terms. So whenever I am defining a component, definitely we have to define the number of input terms and number of output terms that is going to be defined. Let's suppose I am considering an example of AND gate. Now we know that AND gate will have two inputs and one output. So when I define a component called as AND, I have to specify there should be two inputs and a single output. So this is declared using component declaration syntax here we are defining the component so i am writing the name as component component underscore name is where i can define the name of the component once it is over we'll go for port 
and we can write list of interface and their type that means we have to define interface as either input or output and again in that what is its type whether it is a bit or a bit a vector so this is defined using port once it is defined we have to end the component so this is the procedure of defining the component let us see this with the help of an example here it is I have defined and component called as and so I am writing it here component and two is now this two stands for it is accepting two input terms it is accepting two input terms so we'll go for second statement as port a comma b two input terms are there it is input standard logic and it will generate a single result y as output standard logic and then we can write in the component so in this way one can declare the Friends, this component declaration procedure is mostly carried out in structural style of modeling. In next lecture, we'll discuss about the different styles of modeling where we have to continuously use the statement called as component declaration. Now, once the component declaration is over, we have to initialize the component terms. That means we have to repeatedly use the same set of components. So, this technology is known as component instantiation. Now, let us take an example, uh, uh, overlook of this one. The instantiation statement connects a declared component to a signal in the architecture. Now, what it this says? It simply says that uh, even if you have defined certain component like AND is there, where we have defined two inputs and a single output. Now, if I use AND gate in case of, uh, say, suppose we have half adder, where we are getting sum as uh, A x or P and carry is equals to A into P. Now, when we concentrate on carry, which is equals to AB, that is A into B, we are using an AND gate. Now, here the inputs AB is there, but the output is what? C. So, I have to connect AB with AB and Y, I have to connect it to the carry. So, this term is known as component instantiation. Basically, the instantiation has three key uh, uh, terms are there one is called as label component and port type now let us see what is label what is component what is port type now label it defines unique instance of the component component type it select the desired declared component so in earlier case we have defined and so we will use the component as and two and port map which simply connect the components to the signal in the architecture that means according to our need we can connect either of the input signal to the given term similarly output signal to the given term so based on that we can define component instantiation let us see this example show a1 it stands for label colon we are using and to get so component name is and to and we are using the port map of and to now as far as and is there here we have defined that component a b as input y as output so whenever this statement is executed x will be connected to a y is connected to b and z will be connected to y so based on that we will get z as output and this two will treat it as input so this particular statement is known as component instantiation now we have to use this component instantiation repeatedly and we will see this more in case of structural style of modeling so whenever we we'll deal with combinational or sequential circuit where structural term comes we have to use this particular term repeatedly so this is about uh, component instantiation now once the instantiation is over next it starts with signal assignment techniques now friends signal assignment let us take this example here i have written sum less than equal to a x or b x or c now this particular symbol it simply indicates an assignment this indicates an assignment whose value should be less than or equal to sum now probably if i execute this instruction a x or b x or c in iska jo result hai wo zero ya one se less a jayega that means this particular statement is called as signal assignment now there are basically two types of signal assignments one is called as concurrent and other is called as sequential now in case of concurrent signal assignment the statements or the equations are executed in a parallel manner that means there is no sequence but in case of sequential they are executed one after another we'll see this broadly as difference between concurrent and sequential in next lecture i hope you understood what do you mean by vhdl libraries component declaration component instantiation and signal assignment thank you very much